Hi guys, it's Beth with Bourbon Creek Crafts back here again with you today. And I am lucky enough to be able to share with you the first look at the August 2020 Flavor of the Month card kit from Scrapping for Less. And if you stop back by this channel every day this week, you will get to see a different sneak peek. All of the design team members will be sharing a different look at the kit. And then on Saturday, August 29th, we will do our monthly blog hop where we will all be sharing some more projects and a more in-depth look, more details about this month's kit. It is cute as always. So for my project today, I am going to make a card with you guys, and I am just starting out by coloring up this super cute image of the little rubber duckies taking a bubble bath. And I went ahead and colored up my ducks, kind of the standard yellow, and then I did add a little bit of gray, like a super light gray to the bubbles just to give them a little shading but not much color. And then I am coloring up the bathtub with a turquoise. and. I am adjusting to some new markers this month, so I have sped this part up quite a bit because I am trying to figure out the blending for these markers. And so I fiddle with this part of the tub quite a bit, trying to get them to blend a little bit better. So add the finishing touch to the ducks, coloring up the beaks and adding a little bit of darker shading right around the beak there. And then I'm also coloring up this little image of the bar of soap with some soap bubbles coming off of it. This is a, another stamp in this particular stamp set. And I'm just coloring this a lighter shade of turquoise to coordinate with the tub. So here I am still trying to get this to blend in with a lighter shade of turquoise and the colorless blender, and then finally decide that I'm done. So I'll fussy cut out the little soap bar here, and then I'm going to take a black marker and just go around the edges of it to kind of clean up the fussy cut lines and get rid of any of the white that might be left from my paper. So here, like I said, I have all of the, the pieces ready for my card so I can go ahead and start assembling. I'm using two different patterns of paper from this collection. And that big piece right there that I'm using as my card mat is some polka dots. And there's some like different shades of turquoise and yellow polka dots that are together. And then I'm also using a turquoise bubble pattern. So I'm gonna go ahead and I cut my colored image into an oval shape using an oval die and then just used a piece of yellow cardstock to mat that. And then I realized that I had wanted to also use some of the white ribbon that came in this particular collection and I had wanted it to go across my card mat layer there. So I pulled it up best I could without damaging, trying, you know, doing my best not to damage the paper, either the card base or the card mat layer. And I'm just using some art glitter glue to hold the ribbon in place on the bottom there of that layer. And then I'm going to run the ribbon underneath the bubble layer. And I left this part in just so you can see that it is possible to come back and add some ribbon, depending on the type of glue you use. I used the ATG and it made it possible to, to still pull it up at this point, so. And it, because I didn't wanna to have to try and bend the paper to get my tape runner back in there, I'm just using some art glitter glue to hold all the pieces together and just kind of reinforcing the glue on everything that I had previously put adhesive on and pulled up. So finally, now I got the ribbon on the way I wanted it and we can move on to finish the card. So I'm going to add my oval image kind of to the left side there. And I like the way the yellow popped off of the turquoise bubbles. That's why I had chose that for the mat on my oval piece. And then I'm gonna add the little soap bar kind of at the bottom, like it had fallen out of the tub. And I'm just using some art glitter glue to adhere that one down. And I am going to come back in with some Wink of Stella on the bubbles just to give them an extra little shimmer. 
And I had also come back in and added just a hint of turquoise to the bubbles, like as if it were reflecting off of the tub. So I'm also using one of the sentiments that came in this stamp set, and it says, when all else fails, take a bubble bath. And I'm just stamping it on some white cardstock for my sentiment strip. And I do stamp it twice because the first time I didn't think it was, it wasn't as clear as I wanted it to be. The second time was perfect. So I am going to trim that down and add a fishtail to the left side of that. And then we'll add that onto my card front. Just up in the upper right hand corner. And then I am going to work on the inside for a bit. I have a piece of white paper. Since I am using a turquoise card base, I wanted to have a lighter, lighter place where somebody could write a message on the inside. And then I had a strip of that polka dot paper left that was like the perfect width for that white layer on the inside. So I just add that on that left hand side. And then com coming back to the front of the card, I wanted to add, there were some enamel dots that came in the collection. And then there were also some sequins that came with the kit. And so the enamel dots were a little darker than I wanted. I just wanted to add like a hint of bubbles floating on the card front. So I went to the sequins and found some of the lighter aqua color, and I'm just gonna scatter those around as an extra little bubble layer. So once I finally settle on my placement, I just take some of my art glitter glue and hold the sequins down. And these, I love these sequins. They're like the flat sequins. And so I, I feel like they're a little bit easier for me to apply and plus, I like them because then if you go to mail it, you have, you don't have any dimension to worry about on the card. So this is my last sequin and my card is finished. But I hope you guys enjoyed this first look at the new flavor of the month card kit. And again, like I said, be sure to stop back by and see some more looks this week. And I will have all of the products I use down in the description box below. But I thank you guys so much for your time today and I hope you're having a crafty day.